So it seems that we have a fairly clear roadmap. In the short run, we're going to have to make do with maybe two or three years of high emissions because we're going to use no uh, bad energy sources, but then gradually we will shift towards uh, renewables. But the question probably at this stage, and I will start with you, Mark, is how can we make sure that the market investors can actually accelerate this shift towards renewables? My judgment is that not much is needed in terms of policy now. Right? We saw over the course of the last 20 years, lots of policy support to subsidize the rollout of expensive renewable fleets in solar and wind. The consequence of that has been massive reductions in the levelized cost of energy. And so today, the debate is really around which companies want green energy. It's about entering into long-term power purchase agreements with you know, major corporations that want to be able to demonstrate they've actually sourced renewable power for their businesses. And so what we've seen is a shift in opportunity from looking at one-off uh, renewable energy projects um, through the construction cycle and now lots of institutional capital being deeply interested in investing in companies that have development platforms for renewable energy. So not only are you getting access to operating assets, but also those under construction and, and as well as ones that are under development over the course of the next decade and beyond. Chris, what's your say? Yeah, I think uh, as it's been for a while now, there are, there are two approaches. There's your investment universe of companies and we're demanding much higher standards from them in terms of their own commitments to achieving net zero. And increasingly, we've got better data on what they're doing. There are There's more help for those companies to put in place long-term plans to reduce their carbon emissions. And we have the ability as investors to distinguish between the good ones and the laggards. And our ultimate you know, tool is that we can disinvest from, from the laggards if engagement doesn't get them to accelerate their carbon reduction plans. But on the other side, and I think this is more exciting in a way, there's so many new opportunities in technology. The technology that's being developed to facilitate the energy transition, whether that's retooling factories to be more efficient, or it's consumer goods that you know are powered by electricity in a much more efficient way today. And those clean technology opportunities, I think, are really important because they do offer growth in earnings as well. So from an equity point of view, that's quite exciting. You not only participating in future economic growth, but you're doing good because these are the enablers of, of the energy transition.